Have you ever wondered about the giant drawings etched into the desert plains of southern Peru, known as the Nazca Lines? Nestled in the heart of Peru's arid coastal plain, the Nazca Lines are an enigma of astronomical proportions. These giant geoglyphs, sprawled across nearly 400 square miles, are a testament to the intricate artistry and engineering prowess of the ancient Nazca civilization. From high above, one can discern a myriad of shapes and figures, ranging from intricate geometric patterns to whimsical representations of animals, plants, and human forms. But what makes these lines truly captivating is their sheer size and precision. Some of these lines stretch as long as nine miles, yet they're so precise that they deviate by less than one degree across their entire length. And despite being created over 2,000 years ago, these lines have survived the test of time, remaining virtually untouched by the ravages of wind and weather. The mystery, however, lies not in their creation, but in their purpose. Why did the ancient Nazca people go to such lengths to create these massive drawings that could only be fully appreciated from the sky? Were they a form of celestial calendar, guiding agricultural activities with their alignment to the sun, moon, and stars? Or were they spiritual pathways, etched into the earth to appease the gods and ensure bountiful harvests? Over the years, countless theories have been proposed, ranging from the plausible to the outrageous. Some suggest that the lines were part of a sophisticated water management system, while others argue that they were landing strips for extraterrestrial visitors. However, despite decades of research, the true purpose of the Nazca lines remains shrouded in mystery, sparking intrigue and fascination around the globe. So, let's embark on an exploration of these ancient marvels, journeying back in time to unravel the mysteries of the Nazca lines. Join us as we delve into the secrets and theories surrounding these ancient geoglyphs. It all began in the 1920s when commercial airlines started flying over the Nazca Desert. The passengers, soaring high in the sky, were the first to spot these peculiar etchings on the ground. As they looked down, they noticed a series of lines and shapes that seemed too intricate and large to be naturally occurring. What they saw were not random scratches on the Earth's surface, but rather, an array of geometric designs and figures, some reaching lengths of over 200 yards. This was the first glimpse of the Nazca Lines, a collection of vast geoglyphs etched into the arid plains of southern Peru. The sheer scale of these designs, visible in their entirety only from the sky, left those early observers in awe. The discovery sparked a flurry of questions. What were these lines? How were they created? And most importantly, why were they there? The initial theories were as varied as the figures themselves. Some believed the lines were ancient roads, used by the Nazca people for trade and travel. Others hypothesized that these were astronomical markers, aligning with the stars to mark the solstices and equinoxes. Yet there were those who dared to think even further outside the box. Given the scale and complexity of these designs, some even suggested the possibility of extraterrestrial involvement. The idea that these lines were landing strips for alien spacecraft was as intriguing as it was controversial. As the years passed, the Nazca lines continued to be a source of fascination and speculation. Scientists, archaeologists, and history buffs from around the world flocked to Peru, eager to study these mysterious lines and uncover their secrets. The lines, once a hidden wonder, were now a global phenomenon, capturing imaginations and sparking debates. The Nazca Lines once discovered captivated the world with their mystery and grandeur, and even now after all these years they continue to baffle and bewitch us, reminding us that there's always more to discover, and that the world is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. But how did these massive drawings come to be and who were their creators? The Nazca Lines, a perplexing spectacle of ancient artistry, are credited to the Nazca culture an advanced civilization that thrived in Peru from around 200 BC to 600 AD. These people were sophisticated artisans, potters, and builders, but their most enduring legacy lies etched in the arid plains of the Pampa Colorada. Creating these lines was no small feat. One theory suggests that the Nazcas used simple tools and surveying equipment to design the figures. They might have started by sketching the outlines on small-scale models, then scaled them up on the ground. The Nazcas would then clear the dark, oxidized rocks from the surface, revealing the lighter soil underneath, forming these awe-striking lines and designs. Another theory postulates that the Nazcas created these lines from memory, directed by an observer from a distance. This theory is backed by the Nazcas' knowledge of an early form of trigonometry, 
which they could have used to maintain the proportions while scaling up the designs. However, the most intriguing theory is the astronomical alignment of the Nazca lines. Some researchers believe that the Nazca people could have used the lines to track celestial bodies. The lines could have served as an enormous astronomical calendar, used for rituals and agriculture, tying the Nazca's existence to the cosmos. But the truth remains elusive. Despite the numerous theories, there is still no definitive answer. The Nazca lines are a testament to the Nazca people's ingenuity and their deep understanding of their environment. They manipulated their harsh desert surroundings into a canvas, leaving behind a mystery that has puzzled generations. The Nazca people, in their ingenuity, left us a puzzle that has yet to be fully solved. The Nazca lines aren't just fascinating because of their size and precision, but also because of their meaning. Just as every brushstroke on a canvas carries an artist's intention, every line etched into the Nazca desert holds a message from an ancient civilization. These messages, however, are shrouded in mystery and are subject to interpretation. One theory suggests that the Nazca lines served as an astronomical calendar. The angles and shapes of the lines, it is argued, align with significant celestial bodies and events. The spider, for instance, is thought to represent the constellation Orion, while the monkey's tail is believed to align with the winter solstice. This theory paints a picture of the Nazca people as keen observers of the cosmos, using their vast desert canvas to map out the heavens. Another interpretation sees the Nazca lines as religious symbols. The giant figures of animals and humans, some argue, were offerings to the gods. The hummingbird, with its delicate precision and dynamic form, could symbolize fertility and growth, while the condor, with its vast wingspan, might represent power and strength. This perspective portrays the Nazca people as deeply spiritual, their faith etched into the landscape for all to see. The most audacious theory, perhaps, is that the Nazca lines were a form of communication with extraterrestrial beings. The sheer size and precision of the lines, some argue, suggest a level of technological sophistication beyond the capabilities of the Nazca people. The idea that these lines were landing strips for alien spaceships, or messages readable only from a great height, has captured the imagination of many. Each interpretation offers a unique lens through which to view the Nazca lines, and each paints a different picture of the Nazca people. Whether they were astronomers charting the heavens, devout worshippers making offerings to their gods, or ancient astronauts communicating with extraterrestrial beings, one thing is certain. Whether celestial calendar, religious symbol, or alien message, the Nazca lines continue to baffle and intrigue. Despite their age, the Nazca lines have survived to this day, but what does the future hold for them? The preservation of these ancient geoglyphs is a testament to humanity's commitment to safeguarding our shared heritage. Yet, the Nazca lines face a myriad of threats that could imperil their future. The primary challenge is environmental. Despite their location in one of the driest places on Earth, the Nazca lines are vulnerable to the elements. Erosion, wind, and even the rare bouts of rainfall can gradually wear away at these delicate etchings. Human activity also poses a significant risk. Urban expansion, mining, and agriculture can encroach upon and damage the Nazca lines. Even well-intentioned tourists can inadvertently harm these ancient artworks. A single misstep can leave a mark that lasts for centuries. Despite these challenges, efforts are underway to protect and preserve the Nazca lines. They have been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1994, a designation that underscores their global significance and calls for their protection. Preservation efforts include restricting access to the Nazca lines, monitoring their condition, and undertaking restoration work as needed. Education and public awareness campaigns also play a critical role, helping to ensure that both locals and tourists alike understand the importance of these geoglyphs and their role in protecting them. The Nazca lines are more than just intriguing patterns on the ground. They are a link to our past, a testament to the creativity and resourcefulness of the Nazca people. These lines invite us to reflect on our place in the world, to consider the legacy we leave for future generations. The future of the Nazca lines is uncertain, but with continued preservation efforts, we can hope that they will endure for centuries to come, captivating and inspiring future generations just as they have done for us. Just as the Nazca lines have endured for centuries, the mystery surrounding them persists inviting us to question, explore, and marvel at the ingenuity of our ancestors.